Hello everyone, this is Gabby from A Different Place and I have a Sam's haul for you today. It is Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021, coming close to Thanksgiving. I just needed to pick up a few things and um, I spent $104.83. Let me show you what I picked up. I got my son an apple pie for Thanksgiving. I picked this up for myself. It's um, Hostess Danish 24 count. They all have icing. There are four different flavors. One is blueberry cream cheese. The other one is cream cheese. The other one is berries and cream cheese. And um, the other one is apple cinnamon. I tasted one real good. I, I like to um, heat mine up in the air fryer. Really good in case you, you know, need something a little sweet to have with your coffee. Our favorite orange juice, Homemaker Premium. My favorite grape juice, Members Mark Concord Grape Juice. I picked up some cage-free brown eggs, um, 18 large eggs. Some Heinz um, gravy. This is roasted turkey because my son loves gravy. I picked up a 24 pack of this Sprite. I already put that up. And Southern Comfort eggnog, because I like eggnog. I'm not sure if he'll go for it. He used to love eggnog, but I just picked it up just in case. Some Daisy um, Sour Cream, the two pack. From Delight International, Caramel Macchiato to go with my um, coffee that I purchased at Target yesterday. And also some half and half. Members mark half and half. This caught my eye the other day. Gusto Brazil. Authentic Brazilian cheese bread. I love cheese bread. It says no prep required. If it goes from the freezer. Oh, I'm sorry. It says it goes from the freezer to the oven ready to bake. So I'm just going to pop those in my air fryer. But I love... Um, Brazilian cheese bread. Oh, that's um, gluten-free, non-GMO. Uh, what does it say? Sugar-free, trans-fat-free, all natural ingredients. So I think it's like, it says um, about 42 to 47 pieces. So that's pretty cool. And I also picked this up from Orale Whole Cinnamon. I think this was like $2 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put that um, detail in the description down below. And of course, I needed some more paper plates from Members Mark Ultra Paper Plates. This is um, 300 count. Um, they are quite durable. Um, advanced soap protection, um, cut and grease resistant, microwavable. We need them here, believe me. We go through them pretty quick. And that is pretty much it. I have a few more holes for you to see. So don't forget to be safe, be wise, be well, and most of all, be happy. I'll see you at the next Sam's Hall. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. This is Gabby from A Different Place, and I have an Aldi's haul for you today. It is Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. My total for today is $49.36. I'm going to start over here with cornbread stuffing mix, French fried onions, original. From Pillsbury, the original cinnamon rolls, and just in case I got um, the bakehouse a jumbo buttermilk biscuit just to have that on hand from chef's cupboard the turkey cooking stock back there from friendly farms is the regular whipped topping coconut whipped topping next to it this is my milk the friendly farms lactose free two percent milk look at this wine bottle it is called scarlet path and this is a zinfandel the packaging is so cool. This actually feels like velvet. It's so cool. I had not seen that before. Next to it, um, Winking Owl, California Moscato. Savaritz Vegetable Round Crackers, which are my favorite. I'm going to go back over here from Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup and Cream of Chicken. Um, one of them is for the green bean casserole. Monterey White Mushrooms Whole. 
some gala apples. Countryside Creamery Sweet Cream Butter. There are four sticks in there. Some cheese. Cranberry White Cheddar Cheese. Havarti Dill Havarti Cheese. This one is soft and creamy. And my favorite um, is the Honey Goat Cheese. Some brioche buns with sesame seeds on it. And this is from Specially Selected, the Artisan French Baguette. And that is pretty much it with all these <laughs> this week. Um, I just wanted to make sure I kept a few things on hand. I'm still, you know, I still love that wine bottle. It's so cool. I thought that was so cool. So don't forget to be safe, be wise, be well, and most of all, be happy. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. See you at the next Aldi's Hall. Bye-bye, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Gabby from a different place again. This is going to be my last haul for today, Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. I am getting ready for um, my uh, Thanksgiving meal. I'm going to start prepping. And I included all this in one video because this is, you know, just a few things that I picked up today at Super Walmart, our local Publix, and Key Foods, which is also called, or it's either Bravo or Key Foods. So I'm going to start over here. Usually we have Pernin, but um, we just change our plans. So I picked up this pork stew meat. Some of it has bones, so these uh, parts with the bones, I'm just going to use that and save that for a stew or something. And the other parts, I'll just make it like a, um, a with the flavor that they need, but make more like a, a, a chicharron, which is um, you kind of like make it crunchy. I'm going to do that in the air fryer because a friend of me showed me how to make that. I thought I had picked up um, calabaza or pumpkin, but it is actually diced up sweet potatoes so I'm just going to incorporate that somehow the modelo is to use as a marinade I saw a recipe um from a guy who, his channel I can I don't know if it's I can't remember the name but um it's a Puerto Rican recipe to add some beer to your turkey to help marinate it so you know and you also need sofrito so I picked up some more sofrito um, I also got this condensed milk from Magnolia. Well, it's actually Borden. Some Goya coconut milk, cream of coconut. This I'll probably use for to make some coquito. And Iberia um, green pigeon peas. We make this with rice. And I also picked up some fresh bay leaves. As you can see, this is $1.99. The stew meat is $6.40. This is $4.99. This is what? $2.80. I'm not sure if this was like a dollar or something. And this, these were probably $1.99 or something like that. Can't remember. $1.49, something like that. I'll put that detail um, in the description down below. Huh, well, I should have gone to Publix first for the stuffing mix because there I found the Pepperidge Farm which is also good it's what I used to use before but you guys if you saw my previous video you know which one I really wanted so let's leave it at that I picked up some you know like a mixed fruit bowl a few more sweet potatoes some um, roasted salted pistachios and some mild Italian fresh sausage link in case I do want to add this to um, the stuffing, but I don't know yet. You guys saw my previous video. I'm, I'm going to put the sausage less Italian sausage in the stuffing, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not too sure. And of course you need these, um, uh, these Reynolds roasting pans. This is going to be for this spiral ham. And the big one, of course, is going to be for the turkey. And I'm going to prepare the turkey in this large um, Reynolds kitchen oven bag. These are, um, these are lifesavers, I got to say. This I've had before. 
I love the flavor. So I got, this one is the Creole butter flavor. And this is an injectable, comes with um, like a syringe and you um, just stick it into the turkey and uh, marinate it, you know, pretty cool. And, but I had never seen this one before. This is for ham, praline honey ham. Isn't that cool? So I can't wait to try this. And back there is the Nestle Carnation um, evaporated milk. So I got two. And just in case, um, stovetop turkey stuffing mix. Because I went to Walmart first. Then I went to Bravo. Then um, it occurred to me, let me go to Publix because it's right next door. So, you know, duh. I said, you know, I could have just purchased this. But anyway, my son loves um, stuffing. And we're going to have enough to make like, um, we do make a Thanksgiving casserole with the leftovers. He loves it. So, and with that, you need a lot of stuffing. I do have um, other things to make mashed potatoes and stuff like that. But I've already put those, I already have those things from previous hauls and I, I stocked up on a few things. And, um, so we're set. I, I, I did buy a lot of stuff today and, um, but we're good. What we're set. I'm, I'm done. I'm not going out to buy anything else. So don't forget to be safe, be wise, be well, and most of all, be happy and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you guys um, are, you know, able to enjoy the Thanksgiving day or, or whatever holiday or however you want to put it. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I respect that too. Just, you know, I hope your families are together. Everyone is, is um, healthy and that they have more than enough to eat. And if you have more than enough to eat, please share. We're going to be sharing too. So that is it. Over and out. Bye-bye, everyone. See you at the next, I don't know, any haul. I'll see you.